Perfect win. It was a well played game, and uh, you know, just talk about taking advantage of the base runners you got. You get a couple walks there, and then Drew Turbin obviously comes through. You know, uh, it was a game that was begging for somebody to do that, and you guys were able to do it. Yeah, I thought it started with our starting pitcher Joseph Shaw. You know, we were. Um, you know, having to play the extra game yesterday, we were short on pitching. We really needed him to be big, and he, he could not have been better. He really worked out of some jams, too. You know, had bases loaded with two down in one inning and got out of that one. Um, you know, a number of times our pitchers, you know, got us out of jams with, with the bases loaded, and, you know, they had guys on base all day long. Um, Savas is a phenomenal pitcher. He's a phenomenal competitor. Um, so we knew we'd, we'd have our work cut out for us, and, um, you know, finally in that, you know, Listy did a great job, you know, getting a good pitch and putting his swing on it to tie the game up. And then in the in the eighth inning, when we finally did get some base runners on base, um, you know, and then Turbin put the ball in play with two strikes. And, you know, obviously that was the difference. But, um, you know, really fortunate to, you know, to be able to do that against a competitor like him. What characteristic of Joseph, Joseph gosh, excuse me, uh, Shaw made you want to go to him today? I mean, what, what made him the choice? Um, we had kind of been, he started the season as our closer. So, I mean, he's got big time stuff. He's a great competitor. Um, and then as the season went on, you know, Brandon Coach really emerged as, I mean, he's one of the best closers in the nation. Um, and, and towards, as the season got to the end, um, we, we wanted to move Joseph into a starting role for us. Um, and he did that about three weeks left in the season. We started him at Oklahoma. He had a, a phenomenal start there. He started the next week against Texas Tech. Uh, we had to use him in the bullpen at the last couple conference series. So we were, we were kind of grooming him to be a starter in this conference tournament. Our ideal situation was to have him start game one, and we just weren't able to do that with what he did the weekend before. Um, so. You know, he was he was completely ready to start that game. Um, you know, we didn't know that he'd be able to go that long. You know, we were hoping to get, you know, five innings out of him. You know, was kind of what we were thinking, best case scenario. So he did a great job. You turned to Brandon in the seventh, I think it was. And, uh, you know, just talk about, it, it's, it, you know, it's not unusual anymore. A lot of teams are turning to their quote unquote closers, you know, in, in tight situations like that. You know, just talk about your, your rationale to bring him in at that stage of the game. Yeah, our mindset with Brandon as our closer, there's been a lot of times where he, you know, he'll come in in the seventh inning, the eighth inning. Um, we knew in, in, in all those situations, he would always finish the game up. We knew he was not going to be able to finish the game today just because of the number of pitches he threw two days ago. Um, but our mindset is that, you know, there's, there's no point in saving your closer for the ninth inning when, you know, the, the game situation that's going to win the game could be in the seventh. And that's what we felt there when they had two guys on base in the top of their order, that this was, this was going to be the ball game and we needed to shut it down right there, so that's why we brought him in. And he got a great inning from Beam, and, uh, and, and Volker, you know, uh, got you out of trouble. You know, mm -hmm. just a really great day for your whole staff that you defended on today. Yeah, it was really great to see, you know, a, a team effort, um, and really special for Cody Beam. You know, a guy he's a fifth-year senior. He's battled a lot of injuries, um, and to have him to be able to come in in the championship game and have a, a great eight, eighth inning for us was was really good to see. The guys probably felt safe making a regional. But now you cement it. You know what's it? What's it mean to this program to come into the valley and win the, the tournament the first year uh, uh, of asking? Yeah, I mean we knew the. You know this is something I personally have, have wanted for a long, long time to be a part of the Missouri Valley Conference. I was a part of it at Northern Iowa and at Creighton, so I know how good of a baseball league it is. Um, you know, so that just makes it even more special for me. I've I've been a part of this league for a, a lot of years and seen the great teams in in the league and. Um, you know, seeing how well they've done in the regionals. So I just, you know, just knowing that this is really going to elevate us and prepare us to do a better job in the regional. Um, so it, it makes it really special to be able to do it, especially, I think, because this was a, a great year for the Valley. I thought the Valley was really strong. Um, you know, the number of teams that we had ranked in the top 100. And um, I mean, it was every single weekend, it was a battle. There's, there's not one team that you could just show up and know we're going to win games and anybody could beat anybody. And we saw that this you know, in this conference tournament. So um, they're definitely, you know, really proud of our guys that they were able to come away with the championship with how strong the league was this year.